Carpenter. Let's go. I just got a call from the general. He's in a flap about his new non-fraternization orders. Yes. Well, where are we going, sir? Well, we're going to go and catch a violator. He wants somebody to make an example out of him. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Get the door. Get, the door. get out of my way. Well, sir, you told me to get the door. <laughs> Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check that little bistro right off the piazza where all those pretty Italian girls hang out. We're yes. bound to grab one GI there. <laughs> what are all those dogs doing in my Jeep? I don't know, sir. I mean, nothing, I hope, sir. Stop at the hoping already and get them out of there. Oh, yes, sir. Oh. Come on, Poochies, now. Out of the captain's Jeep now. Come on, now. Be good, Poochies. Please. Oh, that's not the way. Be firm. Put some authority behind it. Firm, yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, you dogs. Now, this is an order. Get out of there. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Maybe they only understand Italian. Oh, <laughs> get out of the way. I'll handle this. Now, hear this. This is your military governor speaking. I want you out of my Jeep. Ani amo. Ado. Ado. That's it. Ani attack me. Yeah, but Fish me. Kill her, that thing. Get the MPs out here, the riot squad. Yes, sir. Fish. Ah, oh, senor capitano, I see you are collecting dogs. I can find a lot for you if you want. I don't want. I want you to get this wolf pack out of my Jeep. That's what I want, especially that one. He's the ringleader. Vicious mongrel. I'm not it. We are coming. We are coming. Oh, did you see that? Oh. He went right for my throat. Oh, oh no, sir, no, sir. He just went for your pants. Shut up. Oh. I know what he was. He wanted you too short to get up by you. Oh, you shoot me to pieces. Went right through the bone there. Uh, Capitano, you should uh. not have been so harsh. Dogs can smell when you know like it. Oh, they can, can they? Well, see, they like the smell of this. I'm going to declare war. From now on, every dog in this town has got to have a license and he's got to be on a leash. Leash and a license? The people is not going to like this. Besides, we have a no dog catch. Well, then you appoint a dog catch. He can issue the licenses, he can sell the leashes, and he can collect the fees. Collect the fees? That's a my job, I just to remember. <laughs> I'm going to open an office right now. Well, make sure you also open up a set of books, you bandit, because I'm going to be checking on you, and every penny is going to go to Navy Relief. I'm not going to take any guff from you or a lot of mangy dogs. <laughs> Well, there he goes again. Why, six days in a row now. And he still won't talk. I wonder what the attraction in town is. It must really be something. He even gave up his favorite hobby, bird watching. Oh, well, that's a break. At least we won't have to go out in the woods looking for him anymore. <laughs> I'll tell you, fellas, this thing's got me stymied. Hey, Skip, do you think it's possible that Mr. Parker has a girl? Oh, have you flipped? Mr. Parker? Not a chance. He probably found an off-limits public library somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it is, I hope it's not a girl. Because, boy, that Binghamton is on that no-fraternization kick. Goodbye, and shh. <clears throat> so I was telling him down there. So long, guys. Oh, so long, Chuck. Uh, we hope you enjoy your uh, uh, date. Date? I don't have a date. I'm going for a walk. This is your sixth walk this week. Yeah, but uh, who's counting? <laughs> oh, come on. Knock it off, Chuck. You, you can level with us. After all, <laughs> have you got yourself a girl or not? A girl? Well, you guys are worse than my mother. <laughs> What's wrong with him, Skip? He's never snapped at us like that before. Well, that proves that he must have a girl. Well, I'm gonna follow him and see. Uh, you yeah. will not. That man happens to be an officer and a gentleman in the United States Navy, and he has every right to be given a head start, and then we'll follow. Come on, come on. Yeah, <laughs> Did you see that? Why, our shy little Linson must have some hidden talents. Did we really see that? It wasn't a mirage. Oh, we saw it all right. And if old Leadbottom sees it, we're going to be minus one shy little Linson. <laughs> hey, watch there we go. <laughs> 
She's got him walking her dog already. Well, this is worse than I thought it was going to be. That's all right, Skip. How cozy can they get? You're going to paint in the kitchen next. Yeah, boy, what a bad time for Mr. Parker to start swinging. Hey, watch it. Time and day. She's playing Mr. Parker for a sucker. Of all the crummy tricks. Oh, boy, you're so right, fellas. Well, this is something we gotta break up. Let's go get that guy, Skip. Hey, no, wait a minute. No, wait. No, no. No rough stuff. No. We gotta break the bad news to Mr. Parker, but, but gently, huh? Yeah. This is really gonna shake him up. Come on, let's go find that poor guy. Colonel Harrigan, I keep telling you, I've got an all-out crackdown going on around here, and I expect results any minute. Uh, sir, I brought your lunch. Shut up. <laughs> oh, not you, Colonel. No, I'm just talking to this boob here. He came in with the... Binghamton, what's going on over there? Have you gone flaky? Flaky? Well, no. I... Carpenter came in with his hands full of uh, leads. Has a whole handful of leads, and we're going to get right on them right now. Good, because I'm coming over there. And if you haven't got a couple of bona fide illegal fraternizers in the guardhouse by the time I get there, I'm going to be getting you a new set of clothes. A new set of clothes? Why would you give me new clothes? There's nothing yes, the sir, your with jacket. my clothes. I, I, I should... Because I'm a kind, considerate person, and it would be cruel to send a man to a weather station in Alaska in his khakis. <laughs> <laughs> Weather station in Alaska. In Alaska, that sir. That man is after me, and he's not going to quit until he gets me behind a dog sled. <laughs> oh, sir, why don't you change your jacket? Put on a fresh Get one. Away from me! <laughs> why should I change my jacket? I haven't even put it on yeah, yet. Yeah, but sir, you you change it. I, if you would just listen, to, I. Oh. All right. Tell you something. I know what's going on here. Okay. The general has passed a buck to Harrigan. That's what's oh. going on. Now Harrigan has passed a buck to me. Oh. He wants fraternizers. I'll get him some. I'll... I'll get him a guardhouse full of fraternizers. But it's McHale and his lover boys. <laughs> Sir, as usual, you are absolutely right. If there's any hanky-panky going on, we know that Commander McHale and his men will be right in the middle of us. Sir, you are ingenious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sir, uh, by the way, before we go, why don't we change our jackets? I'll go get a fresh one. But, uh, fresh but you'll feel well, better, yeah, sir. Yeah, you, but, uh, this is real. You don't quit with the jacket, Elroy. You're going to be on a dog sled but, as the head dog. <laughs> Sir, if if you please, 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 it's not my fault. As your assistant, the mayor, I would never do such a cruel, heartless thing. It's all of that mean Captain Binghamton's idea. That's a seven hundred lira, please. Oh, no, 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 no. It's at the people, sir. That they know like you mean, cruel, or heartless order. Well, that's too bad. You see this carried out anyway. Get these dogs away from me. Just get them away from me. Sir, should we be going? I mean, uh, Commander McHale fraternizes Alaska. Yeah, sure. Right. I'll be back and look at your books later. Now, get away from me. Come on. Come on. That's a good girl. Hey, you're really learning. Hey, uh, say, you're getting a little bit fatter than last time I saw you. Must be that rich Italian food, huh? <laughs> Talk to Miss Lombardo about that. Boy, you know, she's really pretty nice for letting me play with you. You know that? Take you for a walk now and again, huh? <laughs> All right, here we go. Go on. That's a girl, Angelina. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right there, fella. Yeah, you got the little girl's ball. Hey, Angelina! Hey, wait a minute! You run away and Miss Lombardo won't let me play with you anymore! Angelina! Angelina! Oh. Oh. 
What a stupid old thing. Get a word to the eye, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, accident. Accidental, see? Uh, accidental. <laughs> Can't you see him, Kate? Well, how about it? Anybody see him? Oh, no, not a sign of it. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, we gotta find him before Leadbottom does it. It'll be curtains for the guy. Hey, here he comes. Angelina. It's like he's gone berserk. Oh, no, he, he must have found out about Angel the other guy, Chuck. Chuck, 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 Chuck. Are, are you all right? What happened? Yeah, it's Angelina. I lost Angelina. Well, maybe it's for the best, Mr. Parker. Don't worry, there are plenty others around. <laughs> are you kidding? Not like Angelina. I was teaching her English and everything. Everywhere we're at sitting there laughing and playing, and the next thing I know, she's gone. Oh, story. Yeah, but look, Chuck, you've got to forget her. Why, she's strictly trouble. Forget her? How can I forget her? Her curly hair and her brown eyes and, and her warm little nose. <laughs> Boy. Oh, Chuck, don't torture yourself, boy. Let her go. Come on back to the base with us. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta find her. I have to get Chuck. Boy, is he got it bad. I know. Poor kid. A jolt like that could send him back to his teddy bear. Oh, you're right. And there's no telling what he'll do in the mood he's in. Come on, boys. Let's go after him. Hold it. Hold it. Right we are. Hold it, you oh, no, no, Captain. Not now. Yes, right now. You're under arrest. Under arrest? What for? Oh, no, don't you be coy with me. You know what for. For fraternizing. Us, sir? Yes, you, sir. I know all about you and your women and your wild parties. Captain, they Captain they're coming. They're, they're coming. Com How the devil do they keep finding us? I don't what know. do they want from me? The Are those dogs working for you? I don't know what you're talking about. Sir, sir. please. <laughs> Cover my rear. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go behind us. No, sir, no, sir. I think we've lost them. Sir, as, as long as we've stopped, couldn't we, we just rest for a few minutes? Yeah, good idea. Oh, yes. Why are those dogs chasing me? What do they want from me? I'm sure I can't imagine, sir, but as long as we're resting, why, why don't I dust off your jacket, freshen it yeah, up for I you? You just take it off. Stop with the jacket again. What's the matter with you? Well, You've got a fixation with we, the jacket. <laughs> Here, Angelina. Here, girl. Come on. You look at this. Parker, what are you doing down there? Oh, get up, too, Captain. Well, you see, I'm looking for Angelina. I lost her. Angelina! Here, Angelina. Come on, girl. Carpenter, oh, make a note of this. In 1,400 hours, we found Ensign Parker. Drunk, Parker. crawling in an alley, looking for women. <laughs> sir, I think he found one. Oh, look at that, sir. Look, turn around. Wait a minute. You guys don't understand. Oh, oh we understand, all right. Grab him, Carpenter. Yes, He's sir. our example for the general. You, 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 you fraternizer. You are under arrest. Well, you can't arrest me. I gotta find Angelina. Uh, Angelina! Oh, sir, listen, the dogs, they found us again. Oh. They can't do this. This is a plot or something. It's you and Mikhail and Baroni. You're trying to have me torn to shreds. Uh, sir, sir, uh, your jacket. Uh, maybe if you took it off, you could run faster. Get your hands off. Yeah, remember, you're under arrest. Sir, sure, the dogs, here they come. Let's go, sir. Please. <laughs> Uh, Angelina, she's, uh, I got it. Yeah, maybe you have her. She's a little dog. White got front. You haven't seen her either. Boy, is she going to be bad? Oh, where is that guy? Hey, hey, hold on, Mr. Parker. Hold on. Take it easy. Come on. Chuck, Come on. Chuck, thank goodness we found you. Binghamton's on the war path. Boy, you don't need to tell me. I ran into her and he put me under arrest. He did? Yeah, but he's not going to stop me from looking for Angelina. And neither are you guys. Oh, no, brother, no, you no, really no. got it bad. Chuck, will you listen to me? Look, she's not worth it. She's just a lot of trouble. Trouble? What are you talking about? She's no trouble. As a matter of fact, I was going to give her a bath tonight. A bath? <laughs> oh, how do you like that? All this time, we've been living with a tiger. <laughs> have you ever given her a bath before? Well, sure. She loves to have me scrub her tummy. <laughs> what? Yeah. Now, look, you guys, we're wasting time. Uh, how about letting go of me, and I'm going to go find her? Yo, wait a minute. Hold, hold it, boys. Hold it. Uh, look, Chuck, if Binghamton ever catches you with Angelina, you're landing a brig for sure, and she's not worth it. She's nothing but a two-time. Yeah. When Binghamton is off, there's no fraternizing kick. We'll find you a different girl. Yeah, look, uh, girl, what are you talking about? Angelina. Angelina? You guys got it all wrong. Angelina's no girl. She's a dog. A dog? Oh, yeah, and if you guys don't stop me from looking for her, along with Binghamton, I'll never find her. I come there was... Well, wait a minute. Hold it. Just a minute. Look, I don't get it. Who, who was that senorina that we, we saw you taking flowers to then? Uh, uh, oh, Miss Lombardo. Yeah. Well, you see, she owns Angelina, and whenever I get homesick, she lets me play with her. <laughs> she looks like a little dog you used to have back home. So I did... 
Oh, wait a minute. You guys didn't think that Miss Lombardo and I were in the... Oh, boy, are you kidding? She's engaged. And besides, she's a girl. What fun could I have playing with a girl? That's our answer. Everything's back to normal. Hey, look, we're wasting time. You gonna help me hunt for Angelina or not? Yes, gladly, boy, gladly. All right, boy, spread out. Look for Angelina. Oh, oh, yes. Get down, get down. Oh, wait a minute, sir. Sir, it's loose. What's loose? Maybe I can... Oh, that is loose? Oh, I did, oh, sir. Come on. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, sir, I forgot myself. You first, sir. Always. Always. Oh, oh. Keep zeroing in. I should think they have radar or something. Sir, sir, maybe they recognize our uniforms if we were to take off our jackets. No, no, with that. Every time we well, stop, you take... Well, you should work in a Turkish bath or something. I'm sorry, you're sir. Pulling people's strings off them. Sir, here come the dogs again. Let's run. Sir, hurry. Oh, no, no. They're coming. Get them. Let's shoot them. Maybe you're right about the uniforms. Oh, here, what is this? Yeah, here, here. Grab a dress. Grab a dress. A dress? Yes, oh, but, sir, no, we just shut your mouth and put the dress on. Yes, sir. Get in. Oh, sir, if my mother ever saw you. Oh, sir. like this. You got it on, sir? Yes, sir. Very good. Oh, sir, uh, sir, why don't you take the blue? That's your color, and give me the color. other one. Oh, yes. So. Oh, with your eyes, sir? I always thought the warm tones were oh, better. No, the pink. No, I think What's blue... the matter? There you go. This isn't the Easter parade. Put it on. Put it on, sir. Oh. I'm almost ready. <laughs> She's just a fine, sir. Sir, well, so don't call him a sir. Oh, such a... That's a nice. <laughs> <What's the point? laughs> oh, sir, we made it. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh. Thank heavens the MPs didn't see us. Yes. Oh, let's get into something comfortable. Oh, anybody that's seen us dressed like this, we'd be laughed out of the Navy. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Oh, Colonel Harrigan. Have a nice day at the bargain sales. <laughs> oh, knock it off, Carpenter. You know better than saluting a dress. Oh, sorry. I, 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 I can explain about the dresses, Colonel. Sure, you made them yourself. <laughs> oh, no, no, sir. No, sir. It's just a little something we threw together. Oh, shut oh. up. Oh, well, now, girls, don't argue. The reason we are wearing these dresses is that we were in pursuit of a fraternizer. Oh, what are you gonna do? Tempt him out of his mind? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Matter Harry, tell me all about it. Well, we caught one. We caught, we got almost red-handed. It's that lecherous Ensign Parker. Parker? Parker. That dilly? Lecherous? <laughs> Angelina! Angelina! There he is, you'll huh. see. Angelina! Angelina! Hey, that was her, Skip. That's Angelina. Let's Angelina. go. Angelina. Huh? That Ensign Parker's gone berserk. He's chasing girls all over the place. They're probably going to have another one of their wild orgies in the mayor's office. <laughs> all we want to know is, where is that dog? Which dog is this? What do you mean, which dog? The dog a guy just brought in here. Now, look, if you're hiding that dog somewhere, you're going to hurt him. Please, please, Chuck, please, Chuck. please Chuck. calm yourself. The man that bring that dog to me is my deputy dog catch. He picks up all of the strays he can find. Stray? Oh, wait a minute. Angelina's no stray. What? Hey. Hey, that's her bark. I'd recognize it anywhere. Angelina! Boy, if you're hurting our arm... Why, let me know. The regulations say dog without a license is a stray. 500 lira, please. Ah, oh, Baroni, come over here. Now, look, you. I've always known that you were some kind of a bandit, but I never thought that you'd stoop to dog napping. <laughs> dog napping? Yeah. That's no me. I, I just to carry out the Captain Binghamton's order. 500 lira, please. Oh, Angelina. Oh, boy. Oh, you guys wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> He's out like a light. What's get going on? Get there. some water, quick. I have no water, just the wine. So bring the wine. Oh, Mr. Park, I a 50 liter. <laughs> Put it on the books. <laughs> Take a slug, Mr. Parker. Come on. All right, up the way. Oh, all right, all right, all right, we are under arrest. Oh. Under arrest? Angelina, 
Angelina. Hmm, get a load of that, Colonel. The place just reeks of liquor, and there's Parker lying on the floor in a heap, drunk, calling for his girl. Oh, this is a regular oh. Bacchanal. Bacchanal? Now, wait a minute, sir. Knock it off, you men. Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. Oh, hi, Colonel. Hi, Captain. Chuck, Chuck, congratulations. You've just become a father. A father? Father? A father? Michael, what's going on here? You better start explaining. There's nothing to explain, Colonel. Oh, what an example this lecherous lout is going to be for the general. <laughs> this is fraternization in spades. Imagine getting married without his commanding officer's permission. <laughs> but, Captain, she's only a dog. Well, of course she is. Who else would have that thing? <laughs> wow! The little mother had five of them. Five. Five. Oh, boy, I got to go to work. Oh. Five. Magnifico. Business is a pickup. Five at the 500. <laughs> now, stop this. Stop. I don't know what everybody is running around here about, Colonel, but let me tell you this. This Angelina, I don't care how many she had, she's a very loose woman, you know. She's the one he's been chasing all over town. We really got you nailed this time. Captain, the only thing you've nailed us with are five tiny little puppies. You see, Angelina actually is a dog, a real dog. You know, Captain. Woof, woof. <laughs> well, if this isn't the cokiest clam bake I ever saw. I gotta see that. Well, yeah, I'll swallow that cockamamie. Get the MPs on the phone, Elroy. Yes, sir. On the phone. Hold that carpet! Oh, he told me to. Never mind that. Wally, you've done it again. Take a look for your own self. What is there to see? You saw it right here. All the drinking and the wild party and the... Five puppies? <laughs> I tried to tell you, Captain. Now, come on, Binghamton. Let's go back to your office. You have got a lot of explaining to do before you take off for Alaska. <laughs> Alaska? Alaska? Oh, Captain. We're going to miss you, sir. Oh, Captain, you. why too, must uh, you be uh, so sloppy? You've sloppy. got gravy stains on your jacket. Oh, my... <laughs> My lunch. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I, I meant to tell you, but with everything... I no wonder those dogs were chasing you. Put the lunch... Oh, well, you're no, going to get I, it. I, I didn't... Yeah, get it. Get it. I didn't... Oh, 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 sir. Come on, man. No, 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 Come on. Let's see how the little mother's doing. Oh, no. <laughs> About that, Colonel. Isn't he cute? Uh, Mr. Lombardo gave him me for a mascot. Ah, uh, kitschy, kitschy coo there, you cute little devil. <laughs> Binghamton, mm. I think you owe these men an apology. Apology? Well, uh, anything, Colonel, to keep from going to Alaska. Okay, Al? Sorry. <laughs> ah, well, don't worry about a thing, Captain. Everything's off the books. Yes, sir. And just to show you that there's no hard feelings, I'm gonna let you be the godfather. Be the godfather of a litter of puppies? What did you say, Binghamton? I said it'd be quite an honor. It'd be a good thing for me. Oh, now you kind of pay the fees. License, leashes, and muscles. That's uh, 4,000 a lira, please. 4,000 lira? You crook, you thief. I'll be glad to let you have the money. <laughs> oh, there. How are you, son? <laughs> Ow! <laughs>